Hi, this is Shubham from Monia Studio and today in this podcast we're gonna discuss about a home loans in India. Over here we're going to discuss various types of a home loans, their benefit, eligibility, fees, interest rate, documentations. But before that, if you want to read the full article about this, the link of our article is provided in description. Also, if you want to watch a quick summary video of less than 90 seconds of this episode, then subscribe to our YouTube channel Monia Studio. So let's discuss buying a house is one of the biggest dreams come true for most of people. A home loan can be an option for buying a new house flat or a plot of land where you construct the house and even for renovation, extension or repair of an existing house. So therefore the house loan is a very key factor over here. Now let's discuss what are the different types of house loans available in India. The first one is a home loan. This is the most common type of a home loan available to purchase a house. There are many housing finance companies, public companies, private banks that offer a housing loan where you borrow money to purchase a house for your own choice and repay the loan in monthly installment. You can get up to 80 to 90 percent of a house market price in the form of a financing. The lender will hold the house until you completely repay the loan. The second type of a loan available is a home construction loan. This is the right home loan type if you already have a plot of land and you need financing to construct a house in the land. The third loan available is a home extension loan. Say you already own a house and you would like to extend the house within another room or another floor or accommodate the growing family home extension loan provides financing for this purpose the fourth one is a home improvement loan a home improvement loan provide financing for renovating or repairing the house if there is any fault in existing system such as a painting of a house interior or exterior plumbing upgrading with electrical system waterproofing ceiling and so on the fifth loan available is a home loan balance transfer the current home loan interest rate may be overwhelming or you may not be happy with the current lender service you can transfer the home loan outstanding balance to a different lender who offers a lower rate of return and better service upon transfer you can even check out the possibility of a top-up loan on the existing loan the sixth loan available is a composite home loan this type of a home loan provide a financing for purchasing the plot of a land where you would like to construct a house and for construction both within a single loan now let's discuss what are the benefits of a taking loan. The first one is a tax benefit. The foremost benefit of a loan is the income tax deduction you can avail on interest as well as principal repayment. You can claim up to rupees 1.5 lakh on a principal repayment under section 80C, up to rupees 2 lakh on interest repayment under section 24B, and up to rupees 2 lakh on interest repayment in a special circumstances under section 80EE and 80EEA, and up to rupees 1.5 lakh on a stamp duty expenses under section 80C. The second benefit of a home loan is a lower interest rate. The home loan interest rate is a much lower as compared to the other loan types available. If you come across cash crunch, you may get up a top up on the existing loan at a lower interest rate than the personal loan to solve the issue. The third benefits available is a due diligence of a property. When you go through a bank to purchase a house, the bank will conduct through a check on the property from a legal perspective and check if all the documents available are valid. This due diligence check from the bank end will reduce the risk of you being scammed. If the bank approves the property that means you and your house are safe. The fourth benefit is a long repayment tenure. Unlike to any other loan, home loans come with a longer repayment tenure as much as 25-30 years. These are owning the significant loan amount one will have to borrow to repurchase a house. Spreading the loan amount and interest applicable over a longer tenure will reduce the monthly EMI. The fifth benefit is a no prepayment penalty. When you take a floating rate home loan, you can make prepayment towards the loan whenever you have a lump sum at hand without having to pay any prepayment penalty. This will help you to close the home loan much before than the set loan tenure. The sixth benefit is balance transfer facility. You can transfer the home loan from a lender to another for a several reasons such as interest rate, service charge,
charge, customer service expertise and others. Now let's discuss the home loan interest rates in India. The average home loan interest rates are from 6.5% to 12% in India as of March 2021 while recording this podcast. The rates usually vary from lender to lender. RBI prescribe repo rate, inflation, economic activities and many other factors are key for this. Some banks also give a special privilege to a woman, bank, staff and senior citizen by providing 0.05% concession on the home loan interest rate. Further, a home loan interest rate can either be fixed or floating in nature. A fixed rate home loan remains the same for a period specified by bank. This type of a home loan is immune to market fluctuation. In the case of floating rate home loan, the interest rate applicable vary based on market fluctuation. It may or may not be beneficial to the borrower. Now let's understand the eligibility criteria. Banks have a list of eligibility criteria for home loan. The first thing bank look at one's credit history to understand their repayment habit. Typically a credit score of 750 and above are preferred. Some of the important factors are like first one nationality, Indian resident, non-resident individual and person of Indian origin. Second one is a credit score preferably 750 or above. Third one is a age limit normally from 18 to 70 years. The fourth one is a work experience at least 2 years or salary and for business at least 3 years. Minimum salary criteria is rupees 25,000 per month which may vary from locations or geographical area and the loan amount provided is up to the 90% of a property value. Now let's discuss what are the fee and other charges related to home loan. These basically includes the various charges you play upfront. The first one is the application fee which is charged by lender to cover all preliminary expenses that they bear for conducting the verification. The second one is a processing fee which cover cost of a credit appraisal depends on the borrower creditor profile income home loan scheme and other factors the third one is the administration fee which is charged by the lender who split the processing fee in two parts the part charged after the loan sanction is known as an administration bill city bank is one of the bank to levy the administration fees the fourth is a foreclosure or repayment charges are levy when the borrower repay the home loan either fully or partially before the end of a loan tenure earlier lender used to charge prepayment penalties and foreclosure charges on the home loan but RBI banned lender from charging individual with prepayment penalties on floating rate home loan. The fifth one is a repayment mode related charges are levy when borrower requests their lender to change their existing repayment mode during a loan amount. The fee usually goes up to rupees 500 per stance that is swap. The sixth one is a rate conversion switching fees which are charged when the borrower require their lender to switch or reduce their existing interest rate due to various reasons the fee varies from one lender to another usually up to two percent the next charge is emi bounce charge which are levy when you fail to make a timely payment of a loan due or insufficient balance lender usually charge rupees 500 for such default the next charge is overdue charge on emi which are levy when the borrower misses or delay timely payment of a loan the next charge is a legal fee which is usually included in the processing fee but some lender charges separately when they engage with a firm to scrutinize borrower's legal document. The last charge is a franking fee commonly referred as a stamp duty fee is a tax levied by the state government on any form of a monetary transaction involving the transfer of a rights of a property. The amount vary from one state to another and depends on state law type of a property etc. Now let's discuss what are the documents required for applying the home loan. These are basically include proof of a document, proof of age, proof of residence, proof of income, proof of income for self-employed and property related document over here normally if you have PAN card, Aadhaar card, voter ID, driving license with bank passbook, telephone electricity bill and for proof of income, salary slip or last three years ITR return then it's sufficient. Now let's discuss what is the bottom line. Nowadays it is a very easy to get a home loan in India with a lot of benefits from different bankers but the main point will how much interest you can pay with how much duration the ability for repayment is based on individual risk capital. If you want to read the full article about this in the link of the article is provided in description. Also if you want to watch a quick summary video of less than 90 seconds then subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is a Shubham from Moni signing off. Thank you.